When I was a teenager, I'd get really excited when the night of Qadr approaches, the nights of decree. So I go to the Islamic center or the mosque at that time with my friends. And once we begin the a'mal, I'm excited. I'm in a mood. But throughout the dua, especially dua al Joshin al-Kabir, which is a lengthy dua and a great dua at the same time, throughout the dua, I get really tired, really fatigued, and I lose the spiritual connection with the dua. And likewise with other longer du'as. So one day, I started to search about this and learn more about it. Is this the only way to get reward on the night of Qadr? To just recite these du'as one after the other, even though they are long? Even though I'm not really spiritually connecting with half of the du'a or even most of it? I learned later that there are two approaches to engaging in the acts of worship of Laylatul Qadr. One is called the spiritual checklist approach, meaning you would gather all the mustahabbat, all the recommended acts, you would write a list or go to Mafatih al-Jinan or other books of dua and just do them one after the other, even if you're not engaged, even if you're not connected spiritually. But this was not the only approach. There's another approach, an approach that I found to be better and suitable for me, and maybe for you as well. And that is the spiritual buffet approach. And it's simply like a buffet. When we go to a buffet, what do we do? We try to eat the dishes or the foods that we like, that we crave. And we eat the amount that satisfies us. An amount that does not make us not want to ever eat that dish again. So I said, this is the right approach for me when it comes to du'as as well. I select the du'a that I feel connected with. It doesn't have to be a long du'a. It could be part of du'a at Joshin al-Kabir. It could be sections from du'a Abi Hamza al-Thumani. The chapters that are recommended, such as Surah Al-Rum, Surah Al-Dukhan, and so on, I don't even have to recite the entire chapter if I don't feel spiritually connected. I can probably recite part of that chapter. In the end, I learned that it's all about spiritual connection in that night. And it's not about the quantity of the a'mal, as opposed to the quality of the a'mal that we do. In other words, I can recite a two rak'ah salah while engaged, while spiritually connected, and it would be better than reciting 100 rak'ah that is only a checklist. You may ask me though, I'm still interested in reciting the entire du'a. I don't want to just recite a couple of the verses of du'a at Joshan al-Kabir or 10 or 20 or 30 sections. I still don't feel satisfied. I don't feel comfortable that I have left the night of Qadr without reciting the entire du'a of Joshan al-Kabir. So is there another option? Yes, there is. Basically, we know that there are three nights for Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr could be the 19th, could be the 21st, and it could be the 23rd of the month of Ramadan. So how about this? Divide these sections into thirds, meaning recite 33 sections of the 100 sections of Al-Joshan Al-Kabir on the 19th night, and then recite the second 33 sections on the 21st, and then conclude by reciting 34 sections on the night of the 23rd. And that way, you have completed the entire Dua Al-Joshin Al-Kabir. Likewise, when it comes to other Duas, like Dua Abi Hamza Al-Thamali, you don't have to recite the entire Dua in one night, rather, you can divide it into portions. In fact, you can even start Dua Abi Hamza Al-Thamali from the first night of the month of Ramadan, and each night recite a portion and conclude by the night of the 23rd. In the end, the purpose is to spiritually connect during these nights. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all merciful and He is generous in His reward. We may think that if I do not recite the entire a'mal of Laylatul Qadr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not reward me. But that's not the case. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards us based on our sincerity and intentions. You do what you can do and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will indeed reward you with the best of reward. So when Laylatul Qadr comes, do not feel anxious, do not feel worried and stressed that if I don't recite the entire du'as that are recommended for this night, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not accept me. Don't be worried about that. Just recite whatever you can and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you. In fact, there's a hadith by our beloved Imam, a sadiq peace be upon him, in which he says, لا تكرهوا إلى أنفسكم العبادة do not make worship detestable to yourself. We really need to remember that spiritual buffet approach, meaning select that which connects you, that which spiritually elevates you. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. Keep me in your dua and I will keep you in mine as well. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.